Hi everybody, this is Coco Cat, aka Sally, here with more of my antique shop $10 bags to show you. Some really good stuff, so excited. Uh, it never gets old. Love the jewelry there. Never disappointed with these bags, it's like Christmas morning every time. So let's get started. We have this brooch, so pretty and sleek. No name on it, but really nicely made. I like that. It's just amazing how many pins there are that don't have names that are so amazing. You know, the name, yeah, it's a big deal when it comes to reselling, but I just think if something's pretty, I don't care if it has a name or what the name is, if it's pretty and I think it's made well. I'm going to like it. I'm going to buy it. And I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way. So that's that. So, I don't know what this is. This looks like it's broken. Looks like it was attached here. It looks vintage with the clasp. I think that could be fixed. Oh, it's adjustable. Cool. That's pretty. A V. No name. Could be a Star Trek thing. Who knows? Okay, some purple. Definitely glass. Wow. Oh, I just noticed this was a face. Maybe it's not glass, but it sure feels like it. It's nice and cold. Hmm. Not sure if it would be something I would wear. It's a it's a pretty purple. Different. I gotta do more research about what that might be. Then we have this. I think it's backwards. Or is it? I don't know. Seems like it's made out of shell or plastic. These are pretty shelly. I don't know what year you would call that, what what year this would be from. But it's broke. And this is the clasp. Hmm. Seems old. I feel bad that I don't know the age of everything and but I'm learning. This is a heavy bird. Now this I looked at, I, I for the life of me, I cannot figure it out. I think it starts with a Z. It's so dull the way that it's done. It's not, it's not really readable. It's driving me crazy. I'll do more research, but this is the bird. Hmm. Cool. But really heavy. I could see that weighing down, like really You'd have to put it on a sturdy sweater of some sort. A stick pin? That's plastic. And this unscrews instead of pulls off. Isn't that weird? That it would be plastic like that? Maybe, Maybe not. Maybe it's Bakelite. I doubt it. Because it's super, super light. Not that I've held a lot of bake light before, but this just seems too light. But it's pretty. A little bracelet. No name. Just to let you know. But it's made well. A big cushion button earring. That's a big gun. Feathers. 
It's got a name. I believe it's Koro. Now, I have to research, but I, I see that some of the Koro has like a symbol in front of it. I don't know if you can see. A little symbol in front of the Koro. Some of them have. I don't know if that's the earlier one or the later one. This is missing stones, unfortunately. Here we have a necklace. Interesting. This seems like a real stone. Cool chain. But it's missing the uh, clasp. Which, due to the size of that, wouldn't be hard to put a clasp on at all. It's not bad. This is a locket. Cute, like a book. That's really cute. And a butterfly. Purple enamel. No missing stones. Very pretty. No maker's mark. But very cute. That's pretty. And not having any missing stones makes me very, very happy. This is... What would... Not a violet. Ah, an orchid? No name. Looks old, has like a diamondish, diamondish stone in there and a amethyst. Pretty. This is just a little ring with, I think those are puka shells or abalone. Very light. This is a pin with Little square pixels, and I don't know what that symbol is. It's a lowercase g and a lowercase v, I guess, with that little hook. If anybody knows, please let me know because I have no idea. This is a pretty groovy necklace with the brown, marbly, not sure really reminds me of the 70s. I think it has a name. One second. Yes. It has the crown and the tafari. See? Cool. This is just a chain. That's a nice shape. And I believe this is... Turn it around. Uh, from here it looks like avocados, and I know that's not what it says. Oh, Ambassador. <laughs> Sorry. Ambassador. That's a new one. Hmm. Cute uh, cameo earring with the screw back. It's so light. It doesn't seem old to me just because of the way it's constructed on the back. But did they make these kind of screw backs later? Like modern? I don't think so. It's pretty though. Nice silver bracelet with a big lobster claw. It's hard to do that. Okay. No name on here, but it's kind of just plain every day. Pretty link bracelet. Not bad. Okay. This. At first I thought this was a project. You know when the kids made necklaces out of the, the pasta? But it truly is metal. It's not pasta. 
That's big. The gold tone with copper. No name. I'm not sure what to think of that. Now this got me very sad and excited. This was my very first turn it around. That you know, it's it's I can't read it again. <laughs> Haiti, uh yeah, the Haiti Haiti Carnegie. You know, I forget things as soon as I remember them. Haiti Carnegie. I've never found one until now. And the middle's missing. Ow. There's a, let me just ripped whatever that was. or I, I don't know. It just looked like it was... Must have been something nice in the middle. It's so sad. So very sad. Another one of those cushion earrings. Oh, that's pretty with the with the pink stone. No name. I like that one. This. I don't know why. I love the little seed pearls. Is that what they're called? Look. They don't make stuff like that anymore. It's so pretty. I mean, I know the stones aren't real and the pearls aren't real, but it's just pretty the way that it's made. The craftsmanship. This isn't, see, this is an example. There's no name on it, but look how pretty and how well made it is. All right. Big clip on earrings. Really big. Very versatile. I mean, anybody could wear those. They're cool. Let me see the name. It says patent pending. It's hard to believe that, that that they're that old. I guess that means before the 50s or the 50s. These big earrings remind me of the movie Tootsie. I like that movie. Let me see if this says something else. Oh, it says Napier also. Let's see what else. This with the turquoise and silver. This doesn't seem like silver to me, but I don't know. It's got a mark in there. Let's see if we can get a close up. It looks like two feathers, like a crest and a crown. Not sure what that means. I have to look into it. Just doesn't seem like it's real even turquoise to me, but we'll have to research. Wow. Okay. This is interesting. It's got a little wear on it. I'm not sure what this is. It just, oh, here's the wear. It just makes me think of moose antlers all mixed together with enamel. I just can't imagine when they put these things together and they I guess they pay people to, to make brooches and then they just say, you know, let your imagination fly. I mean, how great would that be? And then have them pay you for it. It's awesome. What's the name on here? Talks amongst yourselves. Oh, Coral Craft. Coral Craft. Very interesting. This is... Um, Green lace agate. Look that up. It's adjustable and it is. Let me look. Because I forget, like I said, it's Bruce Carell 10 carat gold, gold plated. No, 12, <laughs> 12 carat gold filled. I'm gonna hate to watch this back and. It's, it's late. Okay, but I thought that was pretty cool. It's all cool. That was really cool. This is more modern. This looks like it's off the keychain of the um, Brighton. Did you ever see the Brighton 
bags, Brighton jewelry. Stuff is decent. I've sold some. It's well made. A cameo. Pretty. No name. But it's pretty. This is silver beads on a chain. Now, you see the the clasp looks super old. And I thought it was really unique when I turned it over. But it's just missing the other piece. So that's all. So this, I asked my husband if he thought it was silver. He said, no, it's too light. But they're hollow. So I want to test it. I'm afraid of ruining things. You know, um, this you could probably get away with just doing it a little bit. So we're going to try it. I'm not too experienced at this, but let's hope I don't ruin it. I've tested some other things. It's pretty interesting. Okay, so we got a good sample there. Oop, doesn't look like it damaged anything. This kit I got off of Amazon. I think for everything it was like 60 bucks. They say you should keep it in here and light these testing chemicals. This is the silver. And you just take it and kind of rub a little dot on it. And if it disappears, it's not the metal that you're testing for. So, I'm happy to say that that's sterling silver. It didn't disappear. Ooh, that makes me happy. That's so cool. It's still there, see? You can still see the scratches underneath. So, that tested for silver. I'm not going to test the clasp because it's just very fragile and I don't want to break it. But my guess is it's copper or it's 10 carat. A lot of them are 10 carat when I see them like this. They're either sterling, 10 carat gold, gold filled. But this is silver. Oh my gosh. I wonder how old this is. It's so cool. Wow. Okay. Let me not focus on one thing. <laughs> I'll be on that forever just staring at it. We'll move on. What do we have? Oh, this is just a um, a piece of a um, cameo. Unfortunately, she has a scratch under her face. This feels heavy. Darn it. It's pretty. And there's no way to fix that. I don't think there, there's no way to fix underneath her face. Another cameo. It's kind of reflective. And she has some damage over here. Or we could just make pretend she has a little scar for her ponytail. Pretty cool. Oh, I think this was part of a necklace. It's a pendant and it was attached to some beads. So you can see where the clasp went in. Hmm. All right. This, look at this. I don't know what's in here, but this just seems to me like it would be something you would put pictures in, you know, if you had two kids, put the pictures in there, or your mom and dad. I don't know what that, oh, it's coming out. What is that? It doesn't feel like a stone, it feels like just like a metal cap. Not sure what that part of it is, but that's so cool. I think this is old. Look at the poor bent clasp. That is old. I think we could fix that, kind of bend it back maybe. I don't know why, but I love it. Cool. Well, I think this one has a little bit of design around it, and this one doesn't. 
Would you wear it like that or that? I don't know, but I it feels kind of like gold, but I don't think it is. That's really cool. Well, we can always put that aside and test it later, or in a few minutes. <laughs> this is a really long necklace that fascinates me for some reason. It has all these little pieces welded onto the chain. Now to me, this looks like really awesome workmanship. It just feels really old. But my question is, when they made necklaces a long time ago, did they put this type of extension on there? Yeah, is it an extension? I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's so cool. This is the other side, sorry. This just seems so ornate and well-made. I just don't know what to make of it. I'm afraid to test this. I'm afraid that I might ruin it, but let's go for it. I don't think I will, I'll just be really careful. Am I doing the right side? Yeah. Excuse the noise. All right, silver. Let's see what happens. Rub it on there. Give it a second. Let's see what we have. I think that's silver too. It didn't disappear. Wow. Oh my goodness. I mean, I knew it seemed special, but I didn't know that it was silver. That's really neat. All right. I'm hitting the jackpot with these things. Cool. Here's the other earring for that. Oh, this is pretty. The cameo with that blue color. That's nice. Has a name. It's the Crown Tafari. Pretty with that blue. This looks like a southwestern type ring, but it the silver color is coming off, so. Sorry about the close-up. Oh, that's me. That's cute. I wish it was real silver. But I can tell that the, the metal's wearing off. And the last in the bag is this, would you call it a cigar band type? Yeah. And this says Spain. I'm going to assume this is silver. Should I assume? Let's do it. Let's do it. The mark is still there. Okay. Oh, hope I didn't damage that. Nah, it's alright. Alright. came off. The color was kind of weird on that. Let's see what we got. Mm. Looks like it's disappearing. Hold on. Let me get some of that off there. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is the one we did before with that really cool necklace. And this is the one we just did with that um, cigar band ring. And I'm going to say no on this with the silver. But definitely the other one is silver. Cool. Oh, wait a minute. Cameo ring. Pretty clear with the black inside. It's an adjustable one. But it's pretty. I think it's cool. 
I don't mind an adjustable ring. With my big fingers. Okay. I think we have time for some more. These cute little what is it, polyurethane plastic. Got a chip. Watering can. That's cute. This is a bangle. It's that tech. Tex, I always, always want to say Texaco, but it's Texaco Mexican Silver. That's not a bad bangle. This is stuck to something. Uh oh. Oh boy. That doesn't belong in there. Ah. Oh. Alright. Who doesn't want to see me struggle? Here we go. Oh, smiley face. Cute. Ooh, this is nice. Pearls. That spun gold, shall we say. Let me see. It is Coral Craft. Now, the other thing I noticed, too. I have a lot of Coro and I have Coro Craft. Don't know the age and the difference, but I will research. This is a bangle. It has some of that shell. It's like a mountain with a moon. Very tiny. Wouldn't fit on my wrist. But it's cute. This I've seen before. I have an owl like this from Avon. Something goes inside there, and I'm not sure what goes inside there, but it's not bad. A big spiky leaf. Looks like a holly leaf. Perhaps. Lightweight. Reminds me of Beetlejuice. This is a realtor type pin. Sold. It's heavy. Hold on, let me see what this looks like. Something AJ. I can't read it. It's very blurred. Cool. That's so pretty. A shamrock. This one is Coro. Look how pretty. I hit the mother load with this one with um, shamrocks. Unbelievable. Look, big bird. It's a, is it a toucan? And look, it says celebrity. Thank you, celebrity for clearly marking your jewelry. Can't miss that. I wish they all did that. Then it wouldn't be such a mystery. Finally found something other than a rose. It's To me, this looks like a tulip. And this is Weiss. Pretty. Has a little wear, but honestly, this doesn't even seem like wear. It seems like it just didn't get covered with the enamel. Really pretty. Another one. Different color blue. And a different style. So pretty. This is also coral. This like an African uh, woman. This is nicely made. It's like riveted right here where her earring is. That's pretty. This is interesting. It's a bracelet with sections on it. It's got to be old. I mean, look at the design on the little pieces. To me, that says old. To you, it might say something different. But to me, it does say that it's older. What this is, I don't know. It's not those scarabs, it's just chunks of... Might be glass, it's kind of heavy. And this one has a little red... I'm not sure if it's supposed to. Isn't that weird? I can't 
figure out. It's kind of cool. It's tiny. Okay. And this. I've seen a lot of these. Inexpensive type. Amethyst. This. Reminds me of the one from Harry Potter, but it's not. <laughs> it's like paper and it's crinkly and coming off. I don't think it's very old. Might be. There's no name. Oh, I lied. It says Manny. Oh, no. Manny. I can't see. I'll have to... Uh, it's very light on there. I'll have to research it more. This is a oil lamp. Reminds me of the 70s. I think everybody that I knew had one of these somewhere not original ones but you know remakes that's cute but it's just gold and silver tone oh boy big earring oh I see the other one in there this is a big earring wow so real strong woman for these I tried wearing a pair of these around the house and see how long I could take the pain. I mean, actually, it wasn't too bad. Some of them were kind of comfortable. Once your ear goes numb, you know, you don't feel a thing. But the, the better made ones, yeah, I could do it. I think I could do it. This is silver and gold tone. They are big. This is a heart with a pearl and kind of a leaf. Mm, I think it's old. It's got a very um, feminine look to it. A camouflage hippo. That's a first. Mm -hmm. No name. That is a first. First hippo, first camouflaged animal. Oh, fox. His eyes are... Must be plastic because they're really kind of beat up. Aww. No stamp on that. This... This is made really nice. Beautiful color stones. Nothing missing. This is not a pin, it's a pendant. I had to find a nice chain for that. It's kind of like a snowflake, so pretty. This is just diamond shaped, little nubs on it. Why it goes just across here, I don't know if it's supposed to be worn like that. I guess it's whatever you like. Another cameo. This is pretty nice, actually. This, the painting on here is raised. So I thought that was pretty cool. I can't tell if it's old and expensive or cheap and flimsy. I'm not that experienced yet. This is pretty. It's not very complicated, but it's pretty. And I don't think it has a name. Let me double check. And it doesn't. Look, another one. This is also Koro. Now, let's see if you can see that. The Koro has a little symbol in the front of it. 
I don't know what that is, but it's different than some of the other coral that I have. Once again, like I said, I have to research, but look at how beautiful that is with the green stone. It's on this little, like a pillow that has a pansy. Isn't that neat? So nice. That's so pretty. Uh, how many shamrocks can I wear this St. Patrick's Day? As many as I want. Another one. This one has um, a pearl, and I do believe it's coral. I'm in heaven with these. And we have cufflink. These are nice. I think that's just a W. I'm not sure what that means. This looks like something you would use for fishing, I think. A waiter, but maybe not. This is just a rock. It's I think that's the snowflake obsidian. That's a cool rock. Not much into these twisted up rock things. I'd rather just have the rock. This is stretchy bracelet with these silver beads and I can't identify this if it's plastic or doesn't feel like wood. Maybe it's a man's thing. Cufflink. Palm tree. Cute. I don't see any name on there. Nicely made though. Ouch. This is, I think, I might be wrong. This reminds me of a dogwood. That's old. It's enamel. It's got a little crack. Or it could be a shamrock, but it looks like the dogwood. All pretty, pretty. Really pretty. These are listener. I can see that upside down. And the stones are missing. Oh, so pretty. I feel like I have to replace those stones. Where I would get them, I don't know, but those are pretty. Okay. This is a chain without a clasp. Now it's small, I don't... looks too small to be a choker. Maybe something's missing from there. This? Not in very good shape. No name. Kinda dull. I don't know if that's supposed to look like that. This? Is like a bird? And that does have a name, and it is Tafari, Crown Tafari. Reminds me of a bird. It's like similar to one, of, I had a bird pin from Israel that a friend had given to me, but it was made out of wood. But I don't know. It's gotta be a bird. Pink elephants. Cute. That's cute. And they look so happy. This is weird. I guess it belonged on some sort of necklace. Why it has all these, I don't know. It's a good place to keep them. But that you could use definitely to, if somebody wanted to string their own pearls or any kind of beads. Pretty. That's something from something else. Hmm. This is just regular pin with no name, but I'd like the stone or whatever it is in there. It almost looks like um, like water and the forest. That's pretty. 
guess what? The shamrock. I don't believe this has a name on it. I have to double check. Coral. Wow. Another pretty one. And a bracelet. Which puzzles me because I can't tell how old it is. And I don't know. This is plastic, obviously, but like this, these pieces of plastic are the lightest plastic I've ever felt in my life. So I don't know. Kind of weird. Kind of cool. Another rock. Another caged rock. Not sure what kind this is. It has this kind of an iridescentness to it. But that's a nice rock. I might uncage it and just put it with my rock collection. And, oh, I think I know what this was. There we go. Money clip. I guess I can glue that back on. It's kind of cool. And... Run across a lot of scissors. None that work, though. <laughs> Those are cute. And this was the other earring that belonged to that big one. I think we're at 40 minutes, so I might save the next bag till next time. But... I see. Is it a mosquito? Is it a wasp? Is it ugly? Is it beautiful? I don't know. It has a stinger. I just don't know. I, If you know what it is, let me know in the comments below. I just... I don't care for it. Um... Some bugs are cute. Uh, why you would wear a stinging bug, I don't know. But yeah, this is the infamous wasp or mosquito. <laughs> if you'd like it, let me know. I'll hook you up with it. Um, but I think that's the end of my haul tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to test a few other things um, and see how they turn out, but I'm pretty excited about the things we've already tested. I think that's fantastic. And my phone is dying, so I guess it's perfect time to say goodnight. And thank you all for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. I love reading the comments, and I try to respond to everyone. Some or all of this will be on sale once I start my Etsy um, store and the things that aren't vintage will be on my eBay so I'll put the links once I figure out how to do that <laughs> alright everybody good night thanks for watching and and subscribing I really appreciate it talk to you soon good night bye